Alrighty, I'm downtown Irwin, Tennessee, Unicoi County. And I'm going to walk through town. Make sure I got my camera where I want it centered. I'm right here at the intersection of Main Street and I forget what road this is, 107 I think. Right there is the Mountain Com Commerce Bank. Across the street is the Walgreens. Down that way is McDonald's, Food City, Pals, Bojangles, and I-26. Taco Bell, McDonald's, and back behind McDonald's is the Irwin Linear Trail that I hiked today. Two miles in, two miles out, four miles. And I hiked the AT last week in Hot Springs, and this, my feet are starting to, I've got interceptor boots on, but when I hiked in Hot Springs, all I had on was those uh, sandals. So that makes a difference. And my ankles and feet starting to get a little bit sore. I've sat down for a minute, rested my feet. That made a difference, pulled my socks off. So let's walk through downtown Irwin. I'm not going to talk much. I'm just going to blah. I'll let the camera do the talking. Across the street, right here is the uh, city hall. Uh, no, Irwin, Tennessee Police Department, City Police Department. I just saw uh, Channel 11 News from Kingsport uh, in Bristol in there, our local news channel, behind the City Hall. So, let's get to walking. Big O is going to be quiet.
What's your name? Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. You're missing your left eye. All right, it's injured. His left eye is injured. It's like he's been put out in a fight. Yep, sure has. Poor thing. Here's another cat behind me. Look here. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You don't have to be scared. It's just a big O. Kitty, 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 kitty. Be a good place to sit out here. And they got like a, I guess a little theater up here where they do some kind of maybe shows or something. I don't know. It says the town of Irvin. I guess this place just for people to sit down and eat your lunch. I don't know. It says the the gathering place. Okay. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Your eyes been put out, buddy. Somebody got you. Another cat. Feel sorry for you. Life's hard enough with two eyes, let alone one eyes. It's hard enough with just one eye. I mean two eyes, let alone one eye. There goes inmates. Orange jumpsuits. What it looks like. Oh yeah, all, all orange jumpsuits. There's my car across the road. See, here's where I was at. I just walked back there where that fence was. And it says right here, the gathering place. Sit there and eat and relax, whatever. The town of Irwin. I know all about it. They even hung an elephant here one time. The, the name of the town was supposed to be been Irving. Irving. Name match for a man. E-R-V-I-N. But the postmaster general or something messed, messed the name up when they named the, the, ta uh, the post office or whatever. When they named it, they misspelled it and put a B. It's supposed to have been, I mean a W. It's supposed to have been named the town of Irvin, but instead it's the town of Irvin. The town was laid out in March of 1876 on land donated by David Irvin. See, I told you, D David J. N. Irvin, William Love, and G. Jar G. Garfield, G. G. Garland, I'm sorry, for the creation of a county seat. Vanderbilt was the town's first name. In 1879, the state approved a new name of Irvin, but a United States post office mix-up gave the town its lasting name of Irvin. See, I know a lot, don't I? All right, let's go on. Nice place to sit and relax here. The gathering place. I was going to hit the AT. <clears throat> Instead, I ended up hiking the uh, uh, the Ir Irwin Linear Trail. But it's all good. It, it just stopped raining an hour ago. It's been raining off and on since uh, about 11 o'clock last night, one o'clock last night. Or one o'clock this morning early this morning so it's all good i still got a lot of hiking in my legs are hurting my feet not so much my feet my ankles in my calves i got four circulations why i always wear compression stockings and remember all that hiking i did in hot springs and i haven't really gave my legs time enough to heal because i'm not used to hiking four to five six miles a day today i've already hiked four miles in i hiked two miles uh down the linear, uh, Irwin Linear Trail, and that means I had to hike two miles back to my Mercury Mountaineer, so that's four miles. Not counting, I'm walking again, and I walked yesterday, so. Here's the, uh, the Capitol Theater. 
they have one in Greenville, Tennessee too called the Capitol Theater. They used to show movies here. I don't think they show them anymore. Looks like they just, let me see what it said up here. Live music venue at Facebook at Irwin, Irwin Capital Theater. Yeah, they used to show movies here a couple years ago. About, I don't know, I think up to about six or seven years ago. They finally stopped showing them, from my understanding. Baker's, she repairing saddle soap. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Does the camera do the talking and my feet do the walking? Going down this little side street. Clintsville Drug Company. That's the old, old sign right here. I had to get a photo of it before I leave. This is the Unicoi County Courthouse across the street. All right, I'm going to be quiet. I prefer, really, not to talk and let, let the lens do the talking for me. And my feet do the walking. You got free Wi-Fi here. That's a good thing. I didn't know that. Free Wi-Fi. Right here. This used to be a, a hot dog uh, restaurant. It was a hot dog restaurant for a long, long time. They had good food in there and good hot dogs. Now it's called the Groovy Smoothie. Shake, uh, Groovy Shakes. Shakes, I guess. I'm walking down Main Street. That's Baker's Shoe and Repair Shop. Sign over there that says, In God We Trust. 
ain't nothing wrong with that that's what big old tr that's where his trust is in god not not man not the government I probably won't walk down all these side streets. There's a there's a lot of nice side streets and there's a street over to my left, to the left of Main Street here that has a lot of a lot of old historical churches. And up here on the left is a historical church. Looks beautiful. nice place they have a bunch of benches to sit down i like that while you're here doctor enough and that one machine i passed back there that small one is like four foot tall they had all kind of pepsis and i think it was pepsi machine for 50 cents can you smell the roses They're very, very beautiful. Look at her. That's a pretty evergreen tree. Fir tree, I think, ain't it? Beautiful. Lush green. CSX railroads down there. They have a lot of trains that come down through Irwin, Tennessee. There's the First Baptist Church. That's a beautiful building, too. You can tell that's an old building with stained glass windows. Trying to figure out what this used to be. I guess it used to be a bank by the way it looks on this end. Yep, that ATM would have been there. And that looks like a walk up bank teller right here. See that? This is pretty much the end of town, down Main Street. There is a lot of old side streets. It's got beautiful buildings, beautiful churches. And I don't have time to walk down all of them. My feet's tired. I could probably go somewhere else and just do some more videoing. Thanks for watching my videos.
thanks for watching me hike through Irwin, Irwin downtown. This will be called Hiking Through Downtown Irwin, Tennessee, or Hiking Through Irwin, Tennessee. Ran that red light. He got trapped right in the center. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe as always. I will see you all in the next video.